Welcome everyone to fall into Vegas. Yeah, come on, come on. I don't care about all that stuff. You're awake. How about that? How about your mom? Whoa, easy there, easy. <laughs> You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you really? just relax a second? Get your bearings. I don't want Let's to. See what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, well, when I tried to do the recording yesterday, we went for John Baker, and that's what we're gonna do today, because that's the story I want to play with this, and I don't want to change it just because. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Yeah, and what do you got against my name, a hole? Welcome to Good Springs. Now, well, nice to meet I you. hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Dude, I doubt you did. How'd I do? Holy shit, I'm ugly. Uh, yeah, I'm white, so we're playing a white dude. Get over it. Anyone else? Um... Up with the customize, and here's where I want to pause while I very thoroughly go through what I want my character to look like. Okay, now we're done. No, I'm joking with you. I actually am going to do this, so I'll see y'all in a second. And there we go. There's our guy. Uh, gonna go ahead, Alt P again because I just want to make sure that my pause stopped. There we go. Yep, this is our guy. Uh, John Baker, pretty simple looking man, a little, little rugged looking, a little rugged looking, but he tries to keep his hair clean. I'd say he's a bit new to this courier position. For those of you who don't know, at the very beginning, we get shot in the head. Um, uh, that's the part I had to skip because of the music. Um, for some reason, the music and the radio still plays in the very beginning and in the intro scene, at the intro screen. Um, well, yeah. Well, most of it right anyway, stuff that mattered. Yeah, my okay. freaking looks, you asshole. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Oh, Jesus. It's like the night of the hangover at the freaking yeah. strip. God bless. You walk down to the end of the room? Yeah, yeah, Over yeah. By that bigger tester machine there. How about you stop staring at me, you old now. man? It ain't a race. Yeehaw, I beat you. Ha 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 ha. So far. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I beat you. Tester. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Shut the hell up and let me do it. Alright, he's gonna be a lightweight. He's gonna be perception. He's gonna be a big eyed tiger. Endurance, normal. Charisma, cheery salesman. Intelligence, pretty. Say he's normal. Agility, cat like. Luck, lucky seven. Uh, let's go in. Let's go to. Uh, Nah, perception. Alright, and we're gonna go back over to luck. Luck, you're gonna, we're gonna have a little bit more. You know what? He's very charismatic. He likes to handle stuff uh, without without need of a gun. Alright, go ahead and get back to the luck so we can get done this. There we go. Yep, four, six, five, seven, five, six, seven. Pretty average scores, uh, except for the two sevens, one in charisma, one in luck. Average intelligence, pretty, pretty uh, durable. Um, slightly, he's sli above average perception. Uh, he's very, per he's a perceptive uh, young man. Yeah, and he, that's he, a pretty standard score there. But after yeah. what you mentioned, I'd say that's great news. Yeah, you're well, pretty standard, you old shit it, face. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn and drop. What do you I'm, say? I'm you stealing your. I'm stealing. I'm stealing your medicine. A couple of questions. I'm stealing your freaking medicine, old man. No, I'm stealing all your medicine. Deal with it. There we go. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dick. Dog. Oh. House. Shelter. Night. Dream. Bandit. Bribe. Light. 
dark. Mother. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. We're gonna strongly agree on that I one. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Um, I am not really self-sufficient, but I'll say no opinion for that one. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Uh, no opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No, he's pretty quick to embrace new ideas. I he he understands it when he needs to. Uh, disagree. Almost done here. Like to uh, take a quick silent so so approach, cautious Tell approach to things. Say. Um, honestly, I, I, I can't tell you what I see. It, it just, it doesn't look right. So I was saying angry to okay. that Dan. How about this one? I don't know how about y'all, but I always see a, um, angel with like a sort of like a, sh a shadowy background in front of her or in front of her, the angel, uh, just space Last age technology. One. I always see two bears high-fiving, but sure, a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. Yeah, that's all you wrote. Compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Yeah, whatever. We'll change shit as we see fit. Energy weapons, hell no. Science and sneak, uh, I want barter. Science is pretty good, uh, but I want, just for starting out, um, speech. Yeah, we're pretty stealthy. We're good at our bartering stuff. Yeah. We, it starts out at 20, so we're pretty good on that end. Um, I'll keep it up anyways, just because we're going to be light on camps. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. No. I got a form for you to fill out, so I have right. a sense of your medical history. No problem. Just the formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. You'd be pretty surprised. Um, we're gonna go good-natured, because John Baker isn't a very aggressive man. He is courteous, as I said earlier. As I sort of implied earlier, he is very much a people person. Um, and skilled is something I always pick up, because you just, you, do, you take like three, once you take like a little bit of, yeah, it gives you extra point. Gives you extra points. Everything, uh, for every skill, you get ten percent less experience, which isn't bad. Like it's pretty like skilled is All the right, best probably the because desert. there's some. Come with me. I'll see you out. While I'm talking, so you shut up, man. Um, there's some skills and stuff you can get. Uh, traits later on you can get that improve that that upgrade it towards like ten times better. Yeah, I'm taking our shit, dude. Get over it. No, go away. Uh, I'll take the buffalo gourd seed. I know most people don't really search it because, like, when they try to do roleplay or whatever. But I don't really care about that. I mean, I care about the roleplay aspect, and we're gonna be doing a story with this guy. But for the time being, wait, where are skills right now? Actually, uh, we'll see when we get outside. I do want to go ahead and save this though, as you can tell. Uh, I had about 47 minutes into this yesterday, um, and yeah, I did a, we're gonna go ahead and delete them. 47 minutes before I got off the recording and saw that the, uh, video wasn't being recorded right. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Mm. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Oh, Ain't much cool. used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Yeah. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Alrighty. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. 
I right. reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Alright. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Oh, I actually did die. They're not playing hardcore mode, screw that. Okay, we're gonna look at this. Um, let's look at our skills. So, barter, we already have at 45 before we increased it. Our speech is... Snake is 38. Our speech is 47. Um, yeah, we got some pretty good skills. Uh, all of our damaging stuff being our lowest stuff, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Lockpit's pretty good. Medicine's pretty good. Um, probably what I'm gonna try to get up first is repair, just so, um... Yeah. It, uh, it increases the amount of points you repair on a weapon. And I'd prefer to have that. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys. Uh, I'm ta I'm using the controller right now, and it it's awful. Yeah, I'm using keyboard and mouse, dude. I don't, I don't care. Um, I prefer keyboard and mouse on this game anyways, because I have a PS4 controller. And I was really just charging it up on my laptop before we started, and I forgot to take it out. Um... Binoculars. Let's see. Yeah. And then we'll go over here to aid. Do number not eight will be the stem pack. Sunset's fast as that sarsaparilla can be number seven. And Right like the weapons and put the throwing spears in six. More than likely, we'll need actually six. Well, let's pick this damn thing back up. All right, so tab uh, number. Five, number four, be you. Number six will leave empty for something else we're gonna be getting in a second. Ah, shit, forget armor. Um, yeah, I don't care. All right, yep, yeah, there we go. You're gonna do it over here. No, good. Uh, we're going to probably start out with. the uh, lightweight uh, leather armor. I just prefer it over, I mean, here, we'll look at it real quick. I mean, I just prefer that over the vault suit. The vault suit's not that good anyways. I don't think, oh yeah, old world blues go away. I don't care. We're not even gonna be listening to anything on the radio because copyright Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, let's go. Gunner, I don't care. Go away. All the DLCs. Holy shit. This is like a $10 game, and it's freaking amazing. Um, I'm not doing any mods right now on it, just because I actually want it to run smoothly. Yeah, we're supposed to come here, by the way. This is, uh, this is called the town. This is town of... Oh, son of a bitch. I'm trying to do shit right now. Alright, Town of Good Springs, everybody. Town of Good Springs. Here's that dude named Victor. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you, actually. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Hmm. Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. He's the guy that saved us. By the way. Stranger in need. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw so what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Thank you, sir. Do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with you rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Well, goodbye. Happy trails! Yep, that's Victor. He pulled us out of the uh, ground. 
I am quickly going to go over here. Okay, that's stealing, so I'm not going to do that for that one. Um, but for, for some reason back here, you can take these. Which, it's literally just free Sunset Sarsaparilla. Um, and they don't they don't have radioactivity. They don't they don't give you reds for drinking them. I'm like Duca Cola, so we will be drinking the hell out of them. And then here's Sunny. Uh, what's one again? One's a pistol. Three's the uh, binoculars. Wow, Sunny, you are looking. Oh wait, oh it's the dog. Yeah, whatever. R. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Well, that's good to know. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet yeah. me outside, behind the saloon. Alright, and that way, boss. Do -ba -do -ba -do. I'm not playing with my game, like my, I say gaming mouse, as we get a, I've got a little, uh, oh, what's it called? It's sitting over here on the floor. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Alrighty, will do. It's a GX or an RX, um, let's go, let's go put this in on weapons. Uh, varmint rifle, number six. Be the varmint rifle. That that gummit, not what I want. Tab, not escape. All right, we're gonna crouch. Get a better. Why are you still moving forward? Better aim. Idea. Look down the Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. There we go. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Hey. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? First off. Sesperilla bottles are very dangerous, and my skills at killing them are below no other. I'm above and beyond on the shooting of glass bottles. Second of all, okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Yeah, whatever. All right. Oh shoot. Let's go. Yeah, we're speedy, we're speedy, we're fast, we're speedy, we're fast, we're speedy, we're fast, we're speedy, we're fast. And I'm going to have to pause right here because I've got to uh, do something real quick. So I'll be back in like three seconds. I'm not even running in the right direction. Okay, I'll be back in like three seconds. Three, two, one, and I am gone. Alright, we're back. Wait. Okay, so the other one doesn't do that. Cool. If I hit Alt, I zoom in. Boom, 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 boom. This definitely is not making any of you sick or regret watching this video. I am the master. Where are you going? Yeah, come on, hurry up. I'm following you. Whatever. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh, shit. Gotta reload. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Mm -hmm. We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch Ooh. of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's Dang. see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Uh, let's hit shift so we can actually, you know, walk okay. snake. You're on. Go give him hell. Where the hell are these fuckers at? I ain't seeing no deco ge 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 but uh, geckos. I oh, shit, he's way over there. I'm not trying to hit that from this range. No, without a scope, I'm not. Oh shit, oh shit. Come on, motherfucker, where you at? Come on. Oh 
Oh, there they were. Hey, look, I found them. I'll swap to my shotgun. Wouldn't there be more? Could have sworn there was like four that were supposed to be here. Yeah. There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. All right, no problem. Caps to me. Yeah. I'll come along Should with you. Should take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Yeah, come no with problem. Me. Oh, and I just shooted myself. All right, I'm gonna hop around this way, cause I'm metagaming here and know what's about to happen. God, I'm good. Good spring girl. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came mm -hmm. up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Well, thank you. Yay. I'm accepted. I appreciate that. Three purified water. Thank you. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Mm -hmm. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Oh, thank One more you. thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Uh, good art. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some xander root and a brock flower. All right. What do you think now? I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being xander root over by the schoolhouse. Yeah. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Alrighty. And you shall know that I am no pro at this game. Um, this is literally like, uh, this is probably the, like, us, me playing through this will be the first time I actually beat the game. Um, for one, and for two, if you want to watch someone who's like way more professional at that, don't come, don't come to my channel expecting professional gameplay. It's not gonna happen. Like, I'm, I'm like not even a year into this yet. So, uh, if you want professional, if you want, if you want to see better, like better made and like pretty good well like pretty good storytelling um you should go watch uh like grovana and zero period productions they both have some pretty good uh have some pretty good uh let's plays on fallout in vegas and they're like pretty in depth um zero period does all the 100 percent playthroughs and uh grovana he's done a few 100 percent but most of the time i think his were his are pretty good stories is what it is oh we didn't get nothing in the mailbox no mail, honey. No mail on that one either. Yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to belittle myself, but I know, I know how I know how I'm good, like how good I am, and how not good I am. Come on, you little. Oh, did I really get that? I got that through the tree. That's cool. Go ahead and grab that. You know what? Why not? We have time. Let's go in here. Is that everything? God, I hope so. Okay. Uh, I don't know where this dude went. I think I'm bloomed next Sunday. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. 
wait, wait. Okay, it was it was just oh. It's a freaking skull. Oh, there we go. Uh, all the love. Oh, oh. Hey. Okay. I freaking hate the terminals. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. Close parentheses. Close parentheses. Uh, it's pretty easy, so we should have a lot of them. Gumming. Two out of seven. I'm gonna assume M's. Because if there's anything else. Or it's a U in it, M. Um, or it's the N and something. It could be anything, so let's keep looking for. There we go. No, we already got that one. Shit, that counted. Okay, there's another dud. And it, oh, the dud allowance for punished. Okay. Okay, so these ones right here give us. Okay, now, now I understand. Now I understand. Dud removed. I uh, want to find all of these first. Beeping. Two out of seven again. What is it? Oh, it's origin. I was about to say, what was the same between those? It was IN. Was the only thing that was the same. Alright, cool. Uh, disengage lock. Yeah. Alright. Nope. And power. Bobby pen. Toolbox. Programmer's digest. Yeah, okay. Well, we just get the safe. Uh, super stealth. But oh, heck yeah, dude. Freaking mother load. Uh, what do you got over here? More bobby pins. Uh, some. Just, just random stuff, really. It's junk, yeah. It's even more junk in these old games. Uh, but not Fallout 4. Um, but it, you can still use it. There's still stuff you can get out of it. Uh, you can sell it. Really, that's like the main thing you can do with it. Uh, school desk, that's empty. That's empty. So many school desks will, will have. Oh, there we go. Bottle caps. Like I was saying, they'll sometimes have stuff in them, so it's worth checking them out. Uh, yep, yeah, like just like that. Might look like junk, but we can find people that are willing to buy it. Um, if only for a little bit of caps, but like I said, every cap helps. So. There we go. Everything good over here? Yeah. Alright. Spent too much time in there. Let's get over to the graveyard and get those bark flowers. So we got Zan we got three Xander root. Let's see if we can get enough of those. Uh you know what? Where's my machete? DPS is actually lower. What do we have on three? We have binoculars on three. We don't need binoculars. I don't know why I keep hitting escape. I'm so used to some games you press escape and it takes you out of the menu. Alright, let's go. Do 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 Hey Victor. Alright. Yeah, you you freaking big horn. And we turn right here, and we go up that road. I don't... Mm. Pretty sure, yep, Red Scorpion. Or Bark Scorpion, at least. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are, you little shit. S screw you, dude. I guess I could have waited for you to get closer. And then nothing on you. Great. Alright. Yeah, I know what's up here. Yeah, it's these assholes. Is that really hit it? That's some. Not the. 
best shot, but I really don't want to get into range of these assholes. I'm, I have got plenty of ammo too. So screw it, why not? Okay, screw you, dude. Yeah, I'll take your freaking meat, you boy. Owie. Jackass. Any of you fall in my grave? Yeah, this is the hole that we were dug out of. Uh, some dudes caught us with a platinum chip, and they shot us in the head. Or one of them shot us in the head. The other one just stood there and watched. Like bitches, you know. Is there any susbrilla left? No, of course not. Freaking course not. All right, whatever. Is more Brock Flowers up here or is it just that one plant? I think it was just that one plant. Alright, whatever. Let's get back down there. Oh god, what happened to freaking lag? Holy crap. Can I not change anything in my settings? Uh Item fade, actor fade, object fade, Jesus, grass fade, shadow fade, light fade, spectacularity fade. Object lawn fade, lawn fade, Jesus. Okay, escape. Oh my god, that's so much better. Jesus. Alright, let's get over here and get this quest done with, my guys. Alrighty. Oh, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard something, something word, and the clouds are all cloudy all day. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah, we're gonna be singing songs. Um, like I said earlier, like I was saying earlier, I mean, this would be like my first time beating the game, but I, I, despite that, I really do love this game. It's like Fallout, New Vegas, Fallout 4, the only Fallout games I've ever played. But I think, yeah, Fallout 4 was the first Fallout I played, and then Fallout 3, I played, uh, no, actually, no, Fallout New Vegas was the first Fallout game I played, and then I played Fallout 4. Um, like, owning it and playing it, like, actually playing it, not just, uh, borrowing, like, a friend's game and play, or playing, a, playing it at a friend's house and then being like, oh yeah, I played the game, and in really, reality, you didn't really play the game, you know? The hell was that? That oh, was the water. Alright, I got you. Got. Yeah. Yeah, these will do just fine. Alright, good. Alright now. We're gonna be like making something folks that. on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Oh, like healing powder from Pokemon. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's go ahead. Hey, that's not bad. See, Thank all it you. takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. The yeah. important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Yeah. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. It I'm is. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross right. with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Huh? Well, do. All right. You heard her, folks. Let's get back to town. Go ahead and hop, jump our way all the way back to town. Um, actually, real quick. 
Let's go over to stats. Uh, we have, oh, not that far. We'll get some more. We'll get our first level up. Um, what are we sitting at? I think, like I said earlier, we'll probably get a repair up to, like, max out our repair first. And then from there, um, from there, I think, snake and then uh, speech. Like repair, speech, sneak, uh, medicine, guns, um, survival, and then everything else after that, like pick, like lock picking and stuff. Um, probably science. Actually, we'll probably be doing more. Probably actually a mix of both. Probably pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna be playing more of a like the playing a good guy. So. Um, anything that's like, anything that's left morally ambiguous will probably, like, there'll be, I'm not doing a 100% play through this. Okay, I just want to get that started right off the bat. I don't enjoy, like, I enjoy people, watching people do 100% playthroughs, don't get me wrong. I enjoy learning about some of the cool lore and stuff, but I don't like playing them myself. It's just, it gets very boring and tedious to me. And then I lose patience with the game. I have a very short attention span when it comes to games. Um, unless it's Empire War. Or Fallout. Uh, but still, it's like 100%ing things. I, I'll probably never, I'll never, never 100% the game. Um, just because it's not my, not my style to do. So, um, I was, it's loading and stuff, so it'll be lagging every once in a while. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this bit. And then, actually, hold on, I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to see how much time we have left. Yeah, we got plenty of time left. We got uh, we got enough time to do this last little bit right here. And I'll sh I'll show you what I mean by John Baker ain't really a uh, fighting type. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What do you want? Who the hell are you? What was that you said about Ringo? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. It served these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback from Ringo. In this area is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Goodbye. Jackass. Well, Mr. Well, Deez. You've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Ooh, level up. I uh, overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. Mm. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Yeah. Is it, it's odd that Joe Cobb wasn't able to find Ringo. Town's not that big. Cobb hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I think he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him, which is probably true. Huh? Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Huh. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Hmm. Uh, never mind, I won't talk to someone else. Alright. We butchered that. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. The attackers, did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. 
go on. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Mm. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Uh. Let me take a look at your broken radio. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Hmm, I bet. Show me what you have for sale real quick. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Alrighty. Saved one lady. Uh, no. Mm, Braxel, baseball glove, detergent. I'll keep the case. I don't, I mean, they don't really have a weight, so. Empty syringe. Gecko hide, gecko hide. I'm still the hammer. Mantis eggs. Get the mantis four legs. Pre war money. Scrap. Uh, wonder glue. Go over here to. Bleak venom. Blood fly meat. Gourds. Cram. Dirty water. Mintants. I, I won't be using any type of. Uh, drug besides red X. Let's see, sugar bombs, don't need those, don't want the radiation. Alright, uh, light armor, armor, Volt 13 jumpsuit, pretty much the same as a lightweight leather armor. Let's sell it. Go to Trudy, see if she has any, alright, see what she has for aid. Uh, got some beer. Got some oh, fixing things, that's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and take that from you. Um, mating people. Oh, heck yeah, purified water. Uh, then sell the tribal writing suit. I'll buy Salesman's Weekly. About 33, okay, well, Jesus. Mating people. Alright, that's all I want. Pleasure I'll doing business with you. Goodbye. Alright, here we go. Um, what I say we're doing first? What I say repair? Yeah. Putting everything to repair. Uh, let's see. Swift learner? Yeah. You get an additional 10% to total experience points whenever experience points are earned. Which basically just cancels out the skill negative thing. Of course we're going to do it. Lady killer, intense training. With intense training, you can put a single point into any of your special attributes. Maybe, but it's only a single point. Um, friend of the night, confirmed bachelor. Resign. Oh, okay. So you just get um, your like whenever you exit and stuff, uh, you're able to see further or whatever. Um, confirmed bachelor. You can smell components outside the combat. Have unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Unique dialogue options dealing with the opposite sex. I might grab those later, but I'd rather get like the uh, experience points now. Um, let's go ahead and tab. Uh, let's go to skip perks. Alright, cool. Minus 10% from experience games from now on, but we have an additional 10%. Solid equals out. Um, then we get plus five points. So what are we sitting at right now? Skills, repair, 39, 45 on barter. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Alright, cool. Alright, should be about everything. Let's get over here to the radio. Let's repair. Booyah. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Uh, fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. That's it? 
Are you implying that I've done shoddy work? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? How about no? Goodbye. Be careful out there. He's a good guy, don't get him wrong, but he knows his work when he knows his work. Get it. Like she said, she didn't know how much she was supposed to pay for it. I just helped her learn for future reference, you know. Alright, we're gonna go to the general store, we're gonna talk to Ringo, and I think that'll be it for this episode. It's gonna be a bit of a longer one, but most of the ones in the future probably will be about thirty minutes long ish. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. And yeah, true enough. Show me what you have for sale, Chet. Can do. Alright. Miscellaneous uh, ammo. Go hang grab all of your 23 rounds. Alright, no. Shit. Okay. Um, go to you. Sorry. Grab your magnum rounds. Those are your 20 gauge. Um, your 5.56. I'm grabbing only surplus uh, because the rest of it is too hard to keep track of and I don't give a damn enough. Alright, we're gonna sell the you, we're gonna sell binoculars, we're gonna sell knife, laser pistol, all these spears, and the actually no we're not gonna sell that. Not yet. Uh definitely selling you, definitely selling you. Uh do you got anything else I wanna sell? Not really gonna be using any energy weapons this entire playthrough, so yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, you want to accept. Get about 972 caps. Alright. Nice. Thank you. Uh, do you know anything about the people the who attacked me? Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest. On account of them being enemies with the NCR. Yeah. Anything you can tell me about the Great Cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Cons. Ah, so the meth heads got it. Well, thanks for the information, Chet, and goodbye. Take it easy now. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to cut the video short there, and then we'll do the rest of the Good Springs quests uh, on another episode. You can probably expect to see that in about two days. Um, tomorrow, like, alright, so I've actually got, I've actually started thinking about, like, my recording schedule towards more, like, an actual thing instead of, uh, just like I upload whenever the hell I upload. What I'm going to start doing from now on is on expect videos every Monday, Tuesday, um, every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, I do work during the day on all those days, uh, but since I'm uploading this around like usually 12 o'clock at night, um, I usually stay up for a while. So I, I mean, you can assume I stay up for a while. Seeing as how I upload every video around 12 o'clock. Or midnight. So, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Um, and I hope you're willing to watch the rest of the series. Because we're going to be playing this for a long time. Um, like I said, my other like Empire War videos I will be completing. I will be uh, continuing my other playthroughs that I've started along with Pokemon. Um, Pokemon may be delayed because this will be the new main seri uh, new main game we're playing for a while. Until um, after we beat this, we'll probably swap, uh, swap our main focus into finishing up Pokemon. And then after Pokemon, we'll probably move over to Empire War. Um, we'll do uh, back to Empire War. We'll start playing Awakening the Rebellion, uh, the 2.10.
version that came out for the mod just recently. Um, so yeah, like I said before, thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video, uh, even if you don't like it. Um, go ahead and like it. If you have something rude to say, go ahead and say it in the comments. Literally, it's, it doesn't matter what you say in the comments. If there, the more comments there are, the more it helps me out. And that's what you should know for every YouTube video. So you can go into any comment section of any video you want. Put as much hateful stuff you there as you want. Or as much nice and kind hearted stuff as you want. The YouTube algorithm doesn't care. It just sees interaction on the channel. And so it'll push those videos out more. But yeah, do all that. Do with that information what you will. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Goodbye.